Ushirika with Alex Chamwada. Welcome to the program and today we are coming to you from Nakuru. We are featuring Vision Africa Circle Limited that has branches in Nakuru, Gilgil, Molo and Naivasha. Vision Africa Circle Limited, formerly Gilgil Circle Limited, was registered as a savings and credit cooperative society on 22nd November 2004. A pioneering group of traders in Gilgil town came up with an idea of pulling their resources together to create a basket from where they could access loans at affordable rates. When we started, the traders here, definitely not some, most of us would not be able to get any financial services to where from the banks. So we came in to fill in that gap whereby the members felt that if we start our own, is it possible? Because it was started as purely 100% open membership. Nothing like common board, open membership, that is the traders, all the traders, the border borders, the tax drivers, the hawkers, mamambogas, even salaried employees. The SACO rebranded to Vision Africa SACO Limited on 23rd December 2010 when the bylaws were amended to expand the area of operation beyond Gilgil. The SACO is among the 175 registered deposit taking circles in the country. It offers front office service activities known as FOSA. From 30 members, now 17 years down the line, it has grown to the tune of 22,000 members. Vision Africa Circle is an open membership circle. The main members are the business people, so you just need to register with 500 shillings. You start savings. We encourage daily savings because one of the strengths of open membership circle is promoting saving culture. And from the savings, that's where now you get a loan after saving for like three months. Our first savings was like 50,000. The few members, they were able to collect that. And now, at the moment, our asset base has grown to half a billion. That's around 500 million, and we are still growing. Meet Millicent Wanjiru, a member of the SACO. She is a trader at Gilgil Market. Millicent is a victim of the 2007-2008 post-election violence who moved to Gilgil to start life afresh after losing everything. She says joining Vision Africa Circle is the best business decision she ever made in her life. I na to save 50 bob. Kwa wiki I was na save 100. I was able to 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 save 100. I Nikamaliza hiyo nikapewa 66000 nikamaliza hiyo nikapewa ya 100 nikamaliza hiyo naendelea kufanya biashara Millicent's livelihood has changed thanks to Vision Africa Circle Nimejenga kwangu Nimenunua kisiagi bado nasiaga unga nyumbani Still in Gilgil, we meet Robinson, a border border rider who depends on Vision Africa Circle to expand his business. He hails from Kisi, but Gilgil is his business base. He moved to Gilgil in 2012. <laughs> Nilichiunga kama member, nilirejesta na 1,000. Nikafunguliwa account mbili. Account ya mbao mocha inaitua FOSA na ingine inaitua POSA. Nikachukua loan ya kwanza, 120,000, wakikata zile ya mbaso, wanakata, wakanipea 105. Nikayanunua hii pigipigi ambao nikonayo, ambao nilinunua 100,000. Nikapaki na elfutano, nikaiweka insurance, na vitu singine nikaifanya service. Walipo ninulia pigipigi, Niliona sasa maisha yangu yameanza kubadilika tu nilitoka kwa mkokoteni. Kutoka kwa hii pigipigi nimepata plot hapa gema ambayo nimejenga nyumba ya 3 bedroom. Nimemaliza sasa nimeingia niko kwangu na sina wasiwasi. 
Elsewhere in Kuresoi, some 130 kilometers from Gilgil, we meet George Kipkurui Yegon, a retired teacher and the director and co-founder of Exodus China's Academy. How are you? The school was started in 2009 with only three classrooms. It has since grown thanks to the support from Vision Africa Circle. I heard about Vision Africa. I approached them. They told me about their condition or their requirements. And uh, I started saving little by little. And uh, after six months, they gave me a very good loan. That was three million Kenya shillings to do this work. We have come up with a wonderful school. We have 12 units currently, which are permanent classrooms with electricity, very spacious and very nice. Still in Kuresoi, David Koskei, a dairy farmer, is happy to be a member of Vision Africa Circle Limited. Vision Africa to play there of Fundicio ya kilimo ya ngombe. Ningetaka kuchenga nyumba ya sirikulisi na kuongeza ngombe. Companies too are benefiting from Vision Africa Circle. Joro Canning, a food processing company in Joro, is a member of the Circle. Our industry is we start in 1978. We previously export French beans. We deal with the 20,000 farmers. We are great, getting great support from Vision Africa. Our all staff getting salary from Vision Africa, and we pay uh, main amount later on. Also, whenever we need money, we are getting from Vision Africa. The payroll which Vision Africa is handling for us is 4 million uh, shillings per month, and uh, sometimes goes up to 7 million per month. You would not be able to go to the bank and get something like a Mujengo loan. Those years, you could not even get something, a product like a agribusiness loan. The products that we have come up with that are diversified, we are able to help our members. They have been able to transform their lives. Vision Africa Circle Limited attributes its growth to its partnership with Cooperative Bank of Kenya. In the year 2006, the Circle partnered with Cooperative Bank to offer CircleLink Visa branded ATM cards to members. A member is able to access money 24 hours, even when we are not, our doors are not open. So the CircleLink card assists our members to access money and deposit money into their accounts. Corporate Bank is one of our partners since we started. We didn't have a major bank by then, so we started partnering with them as our banker. And at the same time, they've been giving us services in terms of even educating our members through cooperative consultancy. Training is on capacity building for our staff and also for our members so that we can keep on developing the, the capacity. In partnership with Cooperative Bank, Vision Africa Circle also offers bankers checks as well as personal checkbook services to members for payment of school and college fees and other transactions. We also go for uh, soft loans whereby we are able to assist ourselves in development. For example, we want to do something in emergency. So we give them working capital loans, we give them agri loans because they are dealing with the farmers, they are doing the business class, they are dealing also with the employed class, and they are dealing with all diverse people. As a bank, uh, our partnership has then made it possible for us to extend financial services to people who would otherwise not have walked to a normal commercial bank. You've seen their members uh, ranging from people who are owning schools, meaning that they have huge impact on the education sector in Kenya, uh, members who are border border riders and are able to access funds and are able to build houses, meaning that the impact in the housing sector is, is also very significant, to farmers who in, in dairy farming who have been able to be supported by this circle to expand their dairy farming activities and other agriculture activities. <laughs> In a nutshell, Vision Africa Circle is hailed as a visionary idea that has lived up to its expectations, with the management and members looking forward to the circle spreading its wings beyond Gilgil, Molo, Naivasha and Nakuru.
inspiring milestones there by Vision Africa Circle Limited. And that's how we end our program today. We are glad you found time to be with us and be sure to join us again next week for another inspiring story. From Nakuru, I'm Alex Chamwada. Many thanks for watching.